lose the color. Football is the game. We are the champions. I really mind. The chairs on to the man. For Chelsea, Chelsea is the man. Hey everyone, you're welcome to this video. I'm going to be teaching you how you can create this nice football poster inside of Canva. And everything you need will be found in this tutorial. The resources, the photos, the elements, everything has been linked down below. So make sure you are grabbing it. And before we jump into it, if this is the first time you are seeing my face, then I'm inviting you to subscribe to this channel so we can hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year because this channel is dedicated to posting about Canva, sharing Canva tips, tricks, and ideas, and all of that. And just in case you're on the free version of Canva, I have a special link in the description box below that can help you start using Canva Pro for free. You know, it's a free upgrade to Canva Pro. So, yes, I think it's time for us to jump into the video. So these are the downloadable resources we might need but because I don't want you to switch or now I'm going to search and download these files, I have them linked down below so make sure you're just clicking on the link there. It should open a blank canvas and canvas with this asset so you can just start following this tutorial easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create an extra blank space okay or a blank canvas sorry and what I would do is I would choose these two pictures okay and move them down here. Then what we are simply going to do is we'll have this one at the top and this one at the bottom okay so increase the size to something like this okay and you can also increase the size something like this and with how i increase the size clicking on one corner and having the image increase all you have to do is press and hold alt okay while you click and drag any of the corners you know from any of the corners exactly okay so then move this to the back so you can come to layer show layers and move this to the back okay so something like this then what we are simply going to do here is to have this image selected come to edit photo and choose magic grab okay so this means you have to be i think on the pro version of canva to be able to do this i'm not so sure but if you have it in the free version just let me know if it's available for you okay so you can see canva has magically detached this part of the image from the background okay from the original image okay yeah and we'll do the same for this as well so come to magic grab and it should also remove it lovely okay so then we select the background of this one drop it down a little bit and send this behind okay so we have something like this okay lovely jubbly okay so yeah so this is what we have at the moment then what we are going to do next is to press r on our keyboard to add a shape okay so when you add a shape you just have it like this okay and make sure it's up to the center okay then come to position make sure you're hitting on arrange and click on negative 6.2 okay so you should have it rotated like this all right so once you have it like this duplicate it okay and bring it over here okay then what we are simply going to do is to select the two shapes come to layers and move them behind okay they should be behind these two images but this one should go back okay uh -huh. so you can see what we are trying to create then let's change the color to white okay to change the color to white at the moment and we want Kopama okay that's the name of the player I, I think I'll increase the size more bring it you know him to the top over here and I would want to hide you know the sharp part uh -huh. so you can see what we have at the moment then press T on your keyboard to add the text and you can just write the name of him or write his name what's <laughs> my god i don't know what's happening to me and let's change the font to alpha slab one okay then we choose the same rotation for width which was negative 6.2 then we position it here then hit on the italic for something like this okay so we'll move this to the top and i think the shape would have to follow also move the shape to the top a little bit okay then duplicate the text okay and bring it down and we can see the power map all right then we can bring it to the bottom over here so you can see it's very big so we can select both and reduce the size a little bit nice one then this will be here and this will be here it means this should come down a little bit okay then we would select both text change the color to white okay so change the color to white then come to position then come to layers then move it behind the image where he's about to kick the ball okay 
then since the text is still selected come to effect then come to outline okay then come to the color of the text we are going to apply a blue color to it then come back into effect and and the outline there should be color set it to white okay so this is what we have at the moment then what we are going to do is we'll lift this up a little bit okay to something like this and we will add a line so press l on your keyboard for line and make sure you are increasing the line width okay to maybe 18 come to position come to arrange then under rotate negative 6.2 okay so we have something like this and make sure you are increasing the length okay and set it to negative 6.2 again all right then we will just drop this right on top of the shape okay then just to make you understand what we are trying to do let's change the color to yellow and just in case you are not finding the color you can click on the plus icon then come to the color picker and just choose the yellow you know from the ball okay and then to click and duplicate it then we also move this over here okay so somewhere here and you send it behind go palm up okay i think i'd want to increase the size more of the image okay so something like this i feel is is great okay then i bring this in front so that the line goes behind him just like what we have at the moment okay so we can see that this part of the image is still up here so i'll just drag it down a little bit so that you know we don't see it then come to elements and search for snow because i think that's his celebration move when he scores a goal he just goes doing you know this that he's feeling cold so we want to add some snow in there okay so you just come here and add any snow and you send it behind him okay to so send it all the way to the back then you should have it. you can use the layers option to send it to the back okay by now you should know how to do it then click on the image come to edit photo then come to adjust and adjust just increase the saturation and the vibrance a little bit okay just to make the image pop and we'll do the same for this as well okay yeah so that our image looks good then we do the same for this one too okay now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do is to search for shadow okay so in shadow choose any of the shadows over here then decrease the size okay then place it behind him okay so you place it behind him just like that okay then you duplicate it bring this to the top you can rotate it slightly or even reduce the size more okay so that it looks like this all right then you can duplicate it for the third time and rotate it to something like this and just move it okay so yeah you see this is what we have just to add some depth to the image okay so after we do that we just want to add the badges and stuff okay so i'll just pick this two and i'll just cut and paste them over here since we place for chelsea and the england team you know i'll just move this and this all the way to the bottom over here then we can add an extra text so you can do this by pressing t increase the size and we can just see the boy okay from the city and i want it i don't want it all caps then we will bring it down here come to position and set this on to negative 6.2 as well okay and just drop it here okay then we can change this to any serif font okay they can maybe decrease the size just to make it fit over here and you can see this is what we have been able to create inside of canva i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was very easy to follow i hope you actually had fun doing this with me the name is benjamin don't forget to subscribe like share this video with anyone who uses canva and i should see you in my next video